In this video, I'd like to tell you about two features in Arial Pro, which I only found out about recently. These are exercises that I've been working on for years with other musicians and in my practice, and Arial Pro makes these two ways to practice really easy, so I've got to tell you about them. Let's get into the video. Hey everybody, Jamie Horroyd here, helping you learn jazz guitar. Welcome to the channel. If you're new around here and you're new to jazz and you want a structured way of learning jazz guitar, then please check out the link below for a free beginner jazz guitar course. The first way that you can use Arial Pro to make more use of your practice time is to slowly increase the tempo of a progression or theme that you're working on. I'm gonna get behind the computer and show you how to do this in just one second, but realistically you can use this for a theme. So if you're learning any kind of uh, head or theme, then you can just make the increments of the head go up, say 10, five, 20 beats per minute, every chorus, so that you can build it up without even noticing. So if you're working on something, practice it very slowly, increase it by small increments, and then by the end of the practice session, you might then feel confident playing that same piece just a little bit quicker than what you did at the beginning. The next way which you can use Arial Pro to improve your practice is by playing one progression around all 12 keys. For this example here, I'm just using a jazz blues progression, but what I've done is I've just reprogrammed the jazz blues to have a two five into the new key, which is a fourth above. So if you're practicing a jazz blues in B flat, as that's a common key, I like to move this through the cycle of fourth. So what I do is at the end of the uh, jazz blues progression there in bar 12, I just reprogram that to have a two five into E flat. So it's a smoother transition as you go throughout the entire cycle. So um, on the screen now, you should be able to see a little way in which you can do that and that makes it really useful when you're practicing progressions that need to be done in all 12 keys, like jazz blues, rhythm changes, things like that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that these tips have helped you out and improved how you use Arial Pro. If you found them useful, please share that in the comment section below. Be sure to check out part one of these Arial Pro tips and tricks. And if you want more content like this and you want to improve your jazz guitar playing, subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.